All right, lovies, there she is, bright and beautiful and fantastic and all those things. This heart is just, makes me happy, makes me so happy. So the background was a challenge, but there's, a, there was, there's good things that happened because of it, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I started out with my papers and, and I used my catalyst tool to put some color down and then um, put some white over it and back I did a dance back and forth and finally got it to this which I love um, I still can see the papers little, little bits and pieces of the papers peeking through um, and just kind of played really honestly it didn't go you know I, when you have an idea in your head and then it's you're like well, this isn't exactly how I thought it was gonna go but that's part of the story of the piece too. Um, the heart is exactly what I wanted. It is uh, all the things that I love. All the beautiful things that, um, yes. So good, good stuff there. So um, I did a lot of stencil work to, to help lighten it up, to do the white light and the dark um, contrast wise. <clears throat> and I used these new these are the mini minis. There's one more. These are the um, doodles that I have out, but they're in the mini ones. I just love them. The size and everything. Oh, love them. Um, there's also I also have a <coughs> doodle mini one that is in the reverse as an actual stencil instead of a mask. Um, which I love too. Both are awesome. Those are new in the shop. So I used all of these around the sides here to bring some interest back into it, some life back into it after I'd kind of dulled it down a little bit with all of the different layers. Um, but all of the layers really make it what it is. So you know you start out with an initial idea and then it gets better. Um, which is how art works, right? That's how life works. Um, Let's see, what else did I, I just used a bunch of, I used a regular piece of copy paper and just created the heart on, with all my favorite stuff on there. Um, number stencil I used, uh, oh I used the fl the flourish stencil for these little whoop de doos here to add a little bit more interest to the heart. Um, bunch of different acrylics, I mis trying out these, um, these Blick matte acrylics. Um, really like those. They're they're um, very very matte, um, very colorful. So I am liking those. So um, and I think that's about it. I mean, it wasn't it. What the techniques weren't anything difficult. It was just the the background process to to keep it from not competing too much with the heart and keeping the heart as the focal point. That's always the key contrast contrast right <clears throat> um, so yeah that's that is pretty much the process um, as far as okay so the saying says the only lasting beauty is the beauty of the heart and when I read the, the this quote um, it really spoke to me initially when I when I was like ooh that's good that'd be a good and then that kind of inspired the heart and all the beautiful things that we put in our heart and how we make it beautiful but as I as I come as I approach Sunday I'm usually always I'm inspired by a quote or a word and then I start creating and what I share at the end of the video usually comes in the process not always sometimes I immediately know oh, this is a great message or whatever but this one was different and so I had this and I love this and I created from it but what was what was my story I had no there wasn't any depth to it and I kept I always kinda of pray or meditate um, that that whatever I need to say will come and it usually always does I can't think of in the last three years that I've been doing this every Sunday that I've been at a loss for words. Well, today or this week, as I was creating this, I just there was nothing, and I'm like, hmm. so normally when that happens, I just wait. 
um, I try not to like produce something just for the sake of producing it. I always am trying to to do it with a lesson or a heart uh, motive or soul or whatever. So I waited and I prayed and I meditated some more and nothing came <laughs> and I thought well shoot all right so I'm just gonna start editing the video and um, if nothing if I don't feel any soul stirring you know I just you know it's just whatever it's okay so as I'm editing the video and I'm watching my first initial layers of this piece I was like oh I should have stopped right there that was the, the first swipe of turquoise I was like oh that's so good and then I mucked it up with other stuff and as I'm editing the video in my head a whole story starts happening to myself I was like I should have stopped there but then I did this and oh, I, you know and I was kinda going back and forth man well now I know a lesson learned this and that and then I was at a point where I'm like, isn't that your life story, Sean, where, you know, um, sometimes you think you have an idea or a plan and it doesn't go according to plan. And then all of the layers of life and this whole story, this whole heartfelt dialogue with myself happened as I began to edit the video. And so I want to say that so often in life, we have we can look we can look back and hindsight's always twenty twenty right um, but we can look back and say I wish I had or I should have done this or if only I had said those words or if only I hadn't said those words or whatever it is um, and we end up with regrets and I I just want to encourage you today to let go of those regrets because like this piece, like this story that came as I was editing this video, our lives <clears throat> are made up of the layers of, of stuff, of, of life, of circumstances, of relationships, of work, of all of these wonderful layers that sometimes when we're in the process of them, we don't see, we can't see back, we can't see forward, we just have to do what is right now. And if you're having any regrets about anything, I encourage you to let them go. Forgive yourself, forgive others, um, and be in the present. And, and have hope that all of the layers of our story are creating you a beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. A beautiful, layered, textured, wonderfully complex, beautifully intricate and an amazing piece of art you are and so if you ever look back always always know that all of those layers are making you who you are and some of those layers are heartbreaking and hard and I know some of your stories and I can't even begin to <clears throat> understand the the pain and and the hurt and the brokenness I I, I've I've had my own, but I. Some of your stories are just, wow. But those layers are making you your your story. That's your story, and they're making you a beautiful masterpiece. And if we can continue to work and fill our hearts with beautiful things in the process of our story, it will be a beautiful thing if you allow it. So that was my light for this. It doesn't necessarily have too much to do with my quote, but it has everything to do with the soul. And, I, and I'm, so, I'm always so grateful and um, awed that, that if I wait, I get some clarity somehow, some way, whether it's editing a video, talking to a person, an experience, a trip, whatever. Um, that applies to life and to how I create and what I create. So lovies, have hope that your story is a beautiful masterpiece, however hard it is right now. Um, 
and life will go, maybe it's beautiful right now and life will come back around and all of those layers are are you, you beautiful masterpiece. All right, loves, I hope your Sunday is awesome. I hope it's restful. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.